it's a daunting task on Friday night. You were part of that game last year. Talk a little bit about what your feeling is this week and the preparations going into Friday night's game. Little things, do every uh, every everything 100% because um, we can't take a playoff at all. Just got to go 100. Um, last year they were very physical, yeah. so we just got to practice physical every day, no reps off, every down. Now, I saw that in practice on Tuesday. It seemed like there was a little more physicality. Is that kind of the idea this week, that you're going to have to play much, much more physical to match what they bring on the field on Friday? Yes, it's me and Tanner Coyle. We're on the, on the line telling them, give us a look, give us a look, because they've got five studs, mm -hmm. and they're all huge. So we just got to physical, just come out, maybe hit them in the mouth. That's the, that's the plan. They are so balanced, and their quarterback can run the football extremely well, and he can throw. What's the game plan to try to kind of slow him down a little bit? Execute. Do, like I said, little things like step, hit, step, strict your gap, make sure the secondary does their job, um, and just execute, do your job. That's all you can do. Can you blitz him a little bit more? Again, with that kind of balanced attack, I'm sure blitzing cannot be an option as much as we saw last week and you did against Connersville. Can you blitz him more? We just have to see just how the plant, how the game goes and ebbs and flows and just see what we can do. Let me ask you from your standpoint, you're around the team a lot this week. Mm -hmm. Do you get kind of an idea? What is the team feeling? What is their kind of uh, uh, notion of what might happen on Friday night? Do you feel like as a team you guys can win? Uh, we just want our names in Indianapolis. We want, we want all the schools to let them know Richmond is here. And that's really the... The, the, object, uh, the main objective this yeah. week is to just let the, those Indianapolis schools and those powerhouses know that Richmond's here too. That's the goal. Have you guys not looked at the numbers at all? Do you look at what they did last week? Do you look at what they did last year? Do you just kind of put that out and not even read the newspapers and all that stuff about what they've done? Well, we we are going to definitely take a note of everything last year because they still got the, the front five mm -hmm. and the quarterback returning. So, I mean, we, we're going to look back. Not really stats because yeah. new year, new yeah. team, new things, everything – new so we just um we just know what we got to go against so we're just gonna have to prepare for it all right my last thing for you is they got off to a fast start last year and they were up on you guys 14 nothing quickly 21 points at the first quarter you got to stop them early don't you? you don't want them on their home field to get a, a good lead on you guys because they pretty much buried you last year when they got up early they just we uh can't popcorn you yeah. have to execute we can't um have one player do everything he's supposed to do one play and then another player not. That's what caused that all last year. Just so if we do our jobs, then we can hopefully stop them and contain them.